Some Liberty Township parents are alarmed tonight. They say their children were exposed to fuel on a daycare school bus. And to make matters worse, the kids walked through the gasoline while getting off the bus. Butler Warren reporter Jay Warren is live at the daycare center with the story you'll see only on Nine on Your Side. Jay? It was last Thursday when a few dozen kids here at the Kids Are Kids Daycare in Liberty Township went on a field trip down to the Cincinnati Museum Center. Now, at some point during that bus drive, fuel actually started leaking into the cabin where the kids were sitting. Latia Watson has a seven year old daughter who attends Kids Are Kids Daycare on Princeton Glendale Road in Liberty Township. She said this weekend she started smelling gasoline in the house and went on a search. The scent takes me into my daughter's bedroom into her closet, her book bag is on the floor, and the book bag smells like it's been doused in gasoline. And she asked her what had happened. It was gas coming into the bus. It was coming, it was squirting into the bus. It was all over the floor. And I said, what bus? And she says, the bus, when we were coming back from the field trip, the kids a kids bus. And I said, the gasoline was coming into the bus? And she says, yeah, mommy, the teachers told us to put our feet up like this, and to pick, get our backpacks and either sit on them or put them behind our back. The idea that children were exposed to gasoline or diesel has been very troubling for the parents Nine on Your Side has spoken to. I went to Kids Are Kids today to get an explanation as to what happened. In a statement, Kids Are Kids said, quote, the passengers on the bus were a mixture of children and adults, which included parents and staff. No one on the bus was aware there was a fuel leak until exiting the front door of the bus. Kids Our Kids said that the bus driver was terminated, however, because he should have opened up an emergency door to allow the kids to get out once they had slipped on the gasoline going down the stairs. In the meantime, Watson says it should have been handled differently. You can't send me a note. You can't stop and tell me and make sure that I know about it. I said, I didn't know I should have watched out for skin irritants. I didn't know I should have watched out for respiratory issues. Now, today I contacted the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. They tell me that Kids Are Kids did not self report this incident as they are required to do. In the meantime, the parent did notify ODJFS about this situation, so a complaint is open, and now state officials will be down here in the next couple of days to investigate. Jay Warren, nine on your side, Liberty Township.